All right, awesome. So thank you everybody for coming today to the CAE CMAT seminar series. Uh, today is our last seminar of the, of the semester and, and it's my great privilege to introduce to you our speaker today, who is our own Gang Wang. Dr. Wang is an associate professor here in the Civil and Architectural Engineering Department at the University of Miami. Uh, he has two PhDs, in fact. Uh, he received his first PhD in 1996 uh, from Harbin Institute of Technology in the HPAC program. And he received his second PhD here in the United States back in 2005 in architectural in engineering program at the University of Nebraska Lincoln. So in his research, he uh, focuses on design control optimization uh, of uh, building mechanical and power systems. Okay, and today he's gonna be telling us about AC induction motors powered by variable frequency drives. So uh, again, thanks for uh, you know being here and the floor is yours. Okay, hey, uh, thank you for the introduction. You know, as you know, I'm the you know, HVAC guy. So I'm, I'm teaching, uh, teaching the HVAC one, two, three, and, uh, and the thermodynamic. So when I present this topic in this year's ASHRAE conference, so, so, so the chair, the first question from chair, so the, uh, he asked, why you do the, you know, the, this kind of research the outside of your field? So I said, the reason is, you know, the motor kind of set up the bri a bridge to link, you know, the mechanical system and the power system, right? So as you know, the, we have three, uh, three keywords in this uh, topic, in the title, right? These are called, uh, you know, AC power, AC power, induction motor, and the uh, wearable frequency drive. So in this presentation, I will share you know, the, my view you know, on the AC power, induction motor, and the VFD. So in addition to your motor performance data, you know, powered by, by VFD. So this is a really simple view, not from the electrical guy, it's from the mechanical guy. Uh, so uh, in uh, initial presentation, I only cover you know, the, uh, the performance of a motor powered by uh, VFDs. So I present this in uh, this year's conference. So in order to help you to have better understanding of the AC power induction motor and the VFD, uh, are either in this uh, in this uh, you know the presentation. So we can highlight that you can one is called the wall of the current DC and AC, and uh, another one is the uh, induction motor. Actually, induction motor is AC induction motor. Third one is a, is a variable frequency drive, VFD. So this is not the general you know, presentation. This is you know, the introduction part may cover 50%. So that's uh, uh, first one, introduction and motivation. And also introduce the fundamental for the uh, PWM power you know, provided by, by VFD and into your test system uh, result and the conclusion. So as I mentioned, right, the motor set up the bridge between the uh, mechanical system and the, and, the, and the power system. So the contact, contact from the, from the uh, mechanical system, uh, a, a fan and a pump and the and compressor, compressor. So um, fan actually used to deliver the air in the HVC system, the cooling system, and, uh, and also ventilation system. And the pump, pump is used to deliver the water, you know, in hot water system, chill water system. Compressor used to deliver, uh, deliver you know, refrigerant, refrigerant. So from this chart, you can see the, you know, the uh, fan consumes uh, 9%, 9% primary, pr primary energy in, in commercial sector. So pump is 2%, compressor is 16%, totally 27%. So this is an application kind of size, right? Size in commercial, totally 27%. So it means uh, you, if you can improve efficiency, small improvement, so you can, it can cause you know, significant energy savings. So uh, in order to give you the you know, full picture, I also show you, so what's uh, you know, the commercial sector, right? And the consumption. So you can see this chart. So totally we have four, Four sectors. So commercial sector about you know the eighteen percent, 
primary consumption overall. So you, you so based on the two, right? You know the how much you know I need is con consumed by 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 the by the induction model. Induction model. Okay. Uh, then we talk about the you know, next one is two two uh three topic, right? I add in, in special for this uh, uh presentation. So why is uh, the wall of current? So we have we have no we have DC current, we have AC uh, AC current, right? DC power and AC power. So uh starting in 1880s, right? We have two people, two great people involved. In this wall. Why is it called the uh, Edison? Another one is a uh, uh Tesla, right? Tesla. So Edison developed the DC DC power, which it used to be the, the standard, right? However, DC power, you know, is hard to change change the voltage. Uh, for power system, normally we, you know, in the in the, in the building, right? It's, it's, we say 120 for lo, for low voltage and uh, 480 for high voltage, right? But during the transmission, so the voltage can increase to 10 k watt. It's really high voltage, so DC is hard. Uh, Tesla believes that you know, the AC power can be uh, convert uh, to different voltage use transformer. It's really easy. As I mentioned, right, the, uh, from the substation, power substation, so power, the voltage is, a, is a 11, 11 kV, kV, really high. So they have a competition. So Edison really said by the word on the, on the, on the AC, AC power. They say, okay, we can use a, you know, the electrical to to have the you know the the death panels right really dangerous electrical. Uh, 1893 is kind of milestone. So the during the you know the uh, Chicago World Fire, so the 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 general electrical lose a bit to using DC to 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 the to the George uh, Westinghouse with AC. So the, from that time, I kind of the you know the AC win this war right. But not, not actually not really because it's so far you know the today power system right the uh, include the building power system include the induction motor the topic of, of this this uh, presentation right are powered by, by by AC by AC but computer and the electrical vehicle run on on DC on DC right? so then we have two you know really really you know the the funny thing right funny facts. So the you know the question is who is a DC electrical vehicle named for? You know the Tesla, right? Tesla. So DC electrical vehicle is named for Tesla, who support the AC power. Right? Really funny, right? Really funny. So next one is uh, you know the who is a, a power company named for? You know the Edison yeah, in, in California, right? So a power company is uh, named for Edison, who support DC power. So it means that, you know, the something, everything is dynamic, right? So I would say, you know, we will not say, you know, specify you as a civil engineer, mechanical engineer, and, uh, and uh, you know, the, we are actually engineer, right? It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a really broad field. Okay, let's talk about, you know, the, 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 the AC power, AC power. So AC power is generated when the, you know, the magnetic, right, rotate inside the, you know, the, uh, the, the the conductor right generated uh, you know the, the AC power right uh, you know the the direction and the volume right change with time change with time so we have the three property one is the uh, amplitude they call the VM VM then we have the frequency right frequency power frequency and also we have another one another one called the uh, the phase angle phase angle. Right. This is a frequency, right? You can see the uh, the one divided by period the frequency, the number of circle per second. And uh, we have we have the phase angle, phase angle, right? This is a phase angle. You can see phase angle. So phase angle we make the AC power, AC voltage and current as a vector, vector. So not the scatter for the for the DC, right? This different, big difference. So AC voltage current is two dimension and uh, DC is one dimension. Okay. So let's talk about the second topic, second topic induction motor principle. So invention by Nicholas uh, Tesla, right? In, uh, for configuration, you include the stator, the outside, 
and the inside rotation part is called a rotor. Rotor. So principle is here. So when the A three three phase AC produce a rotating magnetic magnetic field in stationary state. So stationary stay there, but when the AC AC current pass through this uh, state, so generate rotating magnetic field. So this is amazing thing, right? Something like uh, you know the when you sleep. You can start it. It's something like this. It's can't see, but they two see the rotating and stationary put together, right? So you can see the you know the 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 the, the yellow right arrow rotate, right? So this uh speed is a uh, we call the synchronized speed called Nx, which is proportional to power frequency. You know in US right frequency is a six hertz, so speed always proportional to six uh, six hertz. So uh why actually later on we can mention why issue for the induction motor is a uh, it's hard to change the speed because frequency is six hertz, so frequency fix, so the speed fix, right? So this is the first part. So when the AC current pass through stationary state, generate rotating magnetic field, right? So when you have inside inside you know the the rotor has a conductor, so the the magnetic field induce current. Inside the rotor, so then you rotate the rotor at motor speed, motor speed. So in order, in order to you know generate current, so it means up uh, the conductor should cut, cut is field, right? Field. So it means up uh, the motor speed should be less than, less than, uh, the the magnetic field speed. You can see the the one is a is a magnetic field. And the right one is a, is a is a rotor speed, right? That's different. That's different. But this not, this different is called a called a motor speed. It's really small, so it's about less than four percent. For larger motor, so maybe one percent. Smaller motor about three percent. So really close to zero, right? Close to zero. So it means uh, the real motor speed should be proportional to power frequency. So we have two uh, property, operation property, right? For the for the motor, one we call motor efficiency. Motor efficiency connect, you know, the electric power to the shaft power, mechanical power. Right? So it's a ratio of shaft motor, the mechanical output to electrical input, right? Input. Next one we call power factor. Power factor. So power factor transfer product of current and uh, and the voltage. To, to electrical power, to electrical power. So as I mentioned, right? So if you recall the physics, right? For the for the work, the work is a product of the distance and the force, right? And times cosine the angle, right? As I mentioned, the AC current and the voltage is a is a two dimension, right? Two dimension. So AC uh, AC voltage and current may have phase angle, right? Phase angle. So the electrical power equal to current times voltage and times cosine, the angle difference between current and voltage. So this is a, called the power factor, power factor. So uh, this one, right? The equivalent to the, to the you know, the, if you, you do comparison to the, to the force and distance, right? This angle. Okay, so the phase angle difference between the AC current and power really depend on type of component. If all in the, in the, in the electrical circle, <coughs> so all components are resistant. So current and uh, and voltage in phase, it means that no 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 phase angle difference. But if the circuit include in uh, in the, uh, Inductor, inductor is a kind of coil, a kind of coil. So the normally the you see kind of the voltage, the voltage, voltage leads the current. So it means the current leads voltage, right? But if the the circuit include capacitor, capacitor, capacitor dominate, so the current leads voltage, right? Voltage. So it means that the, the, in the real real system, you always has a coil like the 
the, the, the lighting system, the motor, radical coil. Normally, the real power system, building power system, uh, voltage, voltage, lead, lead current, right? They have phase angle. They have phase angle. So we, we need to study the, the power factor to, to discuss this, 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 uh, this phase angle difference. So normally, the two property, uh, motor efficiency and the power factor, normally uh, given by by the motor manufacturing, manufacturing. So you can see this is the one, one the motor I took picture. Uh, I do a test in our uh, our campus. And that one, the top one is the name plate. You can see six hertz and uh, 460 voltage, right? Voltage. So the, uh, below the chart is, is like I, can, I get from a manufacturing website. So manufacturing uh, conduct a test to measure efficiency and uh, and, and, and the power factor, right? Uh, powered by rated, rated, uh, rated frequency, rated six hertz, and rated voltage. So during the test, so during the when load change, so frequency and uh, and the uh, voltage will keep same, keep same. So this is from manufacturing, and the DOE also support you know one program called the uh, the motor master. So you can you can you know the Yuan motor motor uh, called the Motor master, right? This is sponsored by, DO, uh, by DOE Department of NH. So the you can get uh, you know the the motor master provide three thirty thirty thousand induction electrical motor data. You include you know the, you can see here right the motor efficiency right from the four different load and also uh, the power factor. So you can get the for either from the a manufacturer, or you can use this a a DOE sponsored program. You can get the motor efficiency and the, and, and the motor power factor. Right? So this is for the induction motor. So let me introduce you know, the VFD, variable frequency drive. Uh, why we use uh, you know, VFD? The thing is here, thing is here. So for HVC load, HVC with a cooling load, it depends on the weather. So in the summer, winter different, right? Also depend on schedule, working uh, the daytime, right? On the occupy time and uh, on during night time, right? It change. So it means uh, the air flow rate in HVC system and the water flow rate in heating, uh, in hot water, chill water system and the freezer rate in, in the cooling system, right? Varies with the season and the schedule. They're not constant, they're variable. You can see the bottom line, right? Bottom line, the red line. So you can change, right? You can just change, the low change. So if load change based on the, if you learn uh, flow mechanics, right, we have the affinity law. So it means flow rate, you, if you change, you change the, 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 the fan, or fan, fan pump and the compressor speed, flow rate is a pro proportional to the motor speed. A good thing is here, so power input, shock power. Shock power is a proportional to the speed to the power three. So if, if you reduce flow rate to 50%, your power reduced to only 10%, right? It's, it's a 0 0.5 to the power three, right? It's 10%. So the question is here, how do we change the motor speed? At the beginning I mentioned, right? Motor speed is proportional to power frequency. In US, power frequency is six hertz. You cannot change the frequency, right? Naturally, right? So you have to introduce one special device. So this which can change power frequency, right? So you from the power grid is six hertz. So you 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 introduce this device. So all input is six hertz, but output is whatever you want, right? This device we call variable frequency drive. So we introduce variable frequency drive. So what apply to reduce uh, motor speed and uh, motor load? The motor load is to the power uh, to the uh, speed to the power of three, right? By reduce output frequency. frequency. Uh, let's talk about the VFD operation. So some of the, the you know the 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 the, the, the fact right for the for the v, for the VFD. So based on name, so VFD can change frequency for sure, right? VFD VFD does output variable frequency. So then we have the two question, two question follow. So does VFD output constant voltage or variable voltage, right? We can see why is, the, why is here, right? So frequency change, reduce half. How about voltage? Voltage keeps same, 
or you or, or voltage also is reduced. The real answer is a VFD also change voltage. So both change frequency and change voltage, right? Second question is a, you know, VFD output is sine sodium power or not? So why in here? You can see the sine sodium power. Another one is a kind of the, we call the PWM, the pulse with modulation power. You can see this part, right? So answer is here. So VFD doesn't output sine sodium power. Actually, VFD output we call pulse width modulation PWM power, which has equivalent equivalent sine sodium sine sodium voltage. You know, this is, you know the, the blue one is not real. It's an equivalent, right? Real 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 output voltage is a, is a PWM PWM. So you can see here VFD does change frequency, but doesn't provide sine sodium. Power, right? Power. So question is here, right? So you can see here, right? I, I put the picture. Right hand, left hand side is a power from power grid. You can see the both voltage and the current are sine sodium, right? Width, right? Width. And the right hand side is a is the power, power output from VFD. So you can see the the the, the blue one is is a current. The current is close to sine sodium power, but for the voltage, for sure, is not sine sodium. V, right? This is called a PWM, right? PWM. You can see the bottom one. So you can first one is a is a full uh full frequency six hertz. So output output voltage is a two o five, and the next one you change to when the frequency change, the voltage change to ninety five, and also change to eighty two, right? So voltage change, voltage change. So how do we uh, you know the operate? You know the, what's the principle for for VFD? So let's talk about a little bit, right? So we have the first is the rectifier, right hand, left hand side. So right, uh, rectifier can convert AC power, AC power to DC, to DC, right? So now we have the, you know, the inverter, you know, the right, uh, inverter is the right hand side, right, inverter. Inverter is the pulse DC voltage at very high frequency. It's a 20 kHz, 20 kHz. So switch frequency, right? Send the send the uh kind of kind of DC, right? DC voltage, DC voltage. So this is a you know the output from the from the VFD. So how do we control the voltage and output voltage? How to control the output frequency? So do it here. So if the output voltage with increase means that uh, you output no, that means the the DC, right? The uh DC, right? DC, the, the width is white, so the voltage is white. Voltage is white, right? So it's white, so voltage is in green. And the switch over frequency actually is a VFD output frequency. So you got this rule, right? You call to, you in green, you make the, the DC voltage wider, so it's all kind of the equivalent output AC voltage is high, right? Change over frequency is controlled by VFD output frequency, right? So as a result, you generate, you know, the, the kind of the, you know, the the the, the sine sodium, sine sodium uh, current, right? Current, but with uh, with harmonics, harmonics, right? harmonics. So you can compare the VFD output voltage and the VFD, you know, output current. So current is more, mostly close to close sine sodium power, but but uh, the voltage, right? Really, the PWM. PWM power. So uh, this is a you know I did the test uh, two, three years ago. Three years ago, you can see the you know the, this is a, the measure right. The, the, I, I took the video. So the the one close to to sine sodium power is current. So the PWM the the, the wave is, is is voltage right is voltage. Let's go to next one. Uh, so as I mentioned, right, VFD change both change frequency and change voltage. So frequency really depends on the flow control, depends on the mechanical system requirement. So the voltage control really depends on flow control. So in general, manufacturing provide three type voltage control. So one we call linear, linear. So means uh, uh, voltage uh, voltage is proportional to frequency. So if the 
frequency is a fifty percent, the voltage is fifty percent, right? As right now there, right? So another one is square ratio. Square ratio is a frequency change, uh, frequency uh, uh, voltage, right? Voltage is a proportional to frequency squared. So it means a uh, frequency change to fifty percent, the voltage reduced to twenty five percent. Another one called flux optimizer. So the the voltage is automatically uh, modulated, try to minimize minimize the current. So something the real voltage between the you know uh, the voltage output uh, using flux optimizer uh, voltage control. So it's between uh, linear ratio and square ratio. So the rule is here. So if you do the sinusoidal uh, uh, centrifugal sinusoidal centrifugal fans pump compressor. So the manufacturer recommend you use a square ratio, but if you use a displacement compressor, so you use a, should use a, a linear ratio, linear ratio. Okay, so I'll give you the you know the the comparison, right? The, you can see that we have three curve. So the the triangle is triangle is a linear ratio, right? You can see the voltage is really linear. with a bottom x is is a, is a frequency, and the y is the voltage. So Linear ratio is proportional, and the uh, right one square is a is a square ratio, right? So you have really low voltage, right? And the uh, green one circle is uh, called a flux optimizer, something between between. Uh, let's talk about you know the the, the you know the the impact of what we have, right? I, I compare the but the top one is a uh, when the motor right motor powered by power grid. So this is a shape, right? Sinusoidal power. But when my, the motor power by, by, by VMD is not really sinusoidal power, right? Current is close to sinusoidal, but voltage is not, right? Definitely not. So question is, can you use uh, the data, right? Performance data provided by manufacturing for the motor power by VMD? This is the question, right? So we have two power, right? You see the, the, the this is real power Supply by by VFD, right? So question is a uh, one is a uh, you know one is a uh, sine sodium power, one is a PW power. So can you use you know the exchange the data, right? So question is right. So we know the you you use the VFD, right? You significantly change the sub power, right? It's a uh, sub power proportional to motor speed to power three, but we also have the you know the conversion. You we use a uh, motor efficiency convert in the sub power to electric power. You also how to, how to, to you know the the determine current right? You you need to use a power factor right? Power factor. The question is here. So impact of PW power to power factor, PWM power to motor efficiency and uh, again voltage also change right? So variable voltage on the power factor and the, and the motor efficiency. So this is the question right? This question. So we need a uh, uh, let's talk about you know the the backwards the the, the the you know the the state of art. So how about you know the the current how how the other people right use uh, how do other people choose the motor efficiency for the for the motor powered by by VFD right VFD. So due to the lack of variable da uh, available data right some the DOE funded uh, the energy program right directly apply data from Motor master again. I mentioned right? motor master is is a the data is from the manufacturer, right? This manufacturer data for the motor power by power grid, not the power by VFD, right? Power by VFD. So you, I don't know if you guys heard of the term the uh, program they call and plus and plus. When you do the and building and simulation, you will use and plus. Why is and plus for building and simulation? Another one, the four system assessment tool. Another one is a pump system assessment tool. So I can click here, you can see. Uh, can I, okay. So this one is, a, is a, from the you know, DOE website. The DOE website, right? So you can see here, term. So motor performance data from motor master database. So DOE recommend you to use a motor performance data from manufacturing, right? Which is highest powered by you know, powered by power grid, not powered by VFD. So, so 
can we use it? This is the question, right? This is my question. Can we use the, you know, the, the multi-performance data, you know, the, when the people, you know, get the, based on the test, right? Using the power grid, right? This question. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. So this is our objective, right? We have our objective, right? So you investigate, you investigate the impact of we have the output PW power and the we have the output variable voltage, right? Voltage. So on motor power factor and the efficiency, right? Efficiency. This is a, the objective of this research. So in order to do the you know test, right? I need to give a little bit of background about PWM power, PWM power. So fundamental, right? This few slides talk about in the theory, right? So any power, any any waveform include the PWM power can be you know the you know the using the you call the uh three A right three A series right you can see the V right you can use a different term different term right the K right K can be equal to one can be equal to two two and then whatever right so you know for the voltage for the current right we have have the you know kind of sum right of different term right. So one term, when k equal to one, we call fundamental term. But if k higher than one, the two, uh, three, five, right? So this term called harmonic term, harmonic term. For pure sine sodium power, power from power grid. So normally we can pure sine sodium power, but we don't have the harmonic term. Harmonic term is, is zero, right, zero. But for PW power, for sure, we have the harmonic term, right, harmonic term. So at the beginning, I mentioned for the induction motor, induction motor. So the, you know, the power frequency is to match the motor frequency, right? Motor frequency. So it means uh, only fundamental term contribute motor shaft. So harmonic term only generate the heat loss, the heat loss. This is a, you know, one conclusion. So let me introduce you know, the, uh, the root mean root mean value. So, you know, the power, uh, so DC, DC uh, power, so current voltage constant, right? So you can use the one number, right? To, to, to define the DC current and, 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 and the power, right? For AC, right, I mentioned, right? AC, the voltage, current, change the direction, change the value with time, right? With time. So, we, so you, you use uh, the peak value or use some, some other value, right? Value. So actually we use, we don't, we don't use peak value. We use called the root mean square value. So how do we define root mean square value? So we see the, the definition, right? Definition. So it means uh, we do the, we do the square, right? Do the average and the square root, right? Square root. So, so as a result is uh, the peak value. Peak value divided by square root two, you get root mean square. So when we mention, right? With 120 volt watt, right? The, for the voltage. So actually the peak value is a, is a 120 times square root two, square root two. So we have definition for, for the fundamental term for each harmonic term, right? We have the current, we have the voltage, we have the current, right? We have current. So fundamental term is K equal to one, but harmonic term is K, uh, higher, than, K higher than one. So, okay, here is the thing. You know, the power meter, power meter actually measure the total, the total, you know, the root mean square. But the VFD, VFD controlled and show fundamental value. So that's different. So, you know, the, when you might use, you, 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 you know, the power meter measure the VFD output. So it's a little bit higher value than the, than the VID panel show, right? Because the power meter measure total root mean square, but VFD controlled and, uh, and, and, and show, right, is a, is a fundamental voltage, right? It's different. So, so don't confuse, they say, okay, voltage, let's see the example is if the, you know, frequency reduced to 50%, right? So voltage should be chained to half, right? But we use the power meter measurement, do the measurement, the voltage higher than, you know, the, this theoretical value, fundamental value. Uh, okay, so power. So the good thing of why we introduce a PW, P, uh, root mean square value, right? So if you use root mean square value, so power equal to the voltage times 
current, right? Time current. A, uh, also, you need times, uh, times uh, the cosine, uh, the angle difference between voltage current, right? So it means if the uh, current voltage in phase, in phase, so the power equal to the current times voltage. So you can use same equation as DC current, right? D DC power, DC power. So again, so motor speed and the sharp power majorly contribute by the fundamental term. So fundamental term is, is contribute of just real sharp power, right? If we power by variability. So then I introduce there are two important in you know, the, the property for, for PW power. So one we call T, THD, it's a total harmonic distortion. So this, another one we call the harmonic distortion factor. So THD definition is a all harmonic term, east close fundamental term divided by fundamental term. So this is for the THD definition. And for HDF definition is the ratio of fundamental term to total term. So include all harmonic term and the fundamental term. So these two properties are dependent. So you know THD, so you can calculate HDF, right, HDF. So rule is here. So for sine sodio power, sine sodio power, THD equal to zero, HDF equal to one. For PWM power with harmonic, so THD higher than zero, and uh, HDF less than one. Less than one. So for the based on the you know the electrical code, uh, I triple triple E five nineteen. So for the power system have requirement for THD, THD should be less than five percent. Otherwise, you electrical device has trouble. Right. So with definition of HDF, so you can write down the power. So power as a total. Uh, root mean square current times total root mean square voltage and times the cosine of power and the phase angle difference between fundamental current and fundamental voltage are uh, the times times you know the the one one the one the you know the uh, number is called a uh, is a hdf for voltage times hdf for current divided by HDF for, for power, for power. So then we have, we can see, right, this means up uh, total active power EQ to current times voltage times fundamental power factor and times distortion power factor. So distortion power factor is only introduced by PWM power. So for the, you know, power, for the power grid, the distortion power factor equal to equal to zero, right? Equal to zero. So this is a one one function. So means if you measure, if you measure HDF for current, for voltage, for power, you can evaluate, right? This power factor, right? Power factor in, impact by by P, uh, uh, by the by the by the VFD, right? So motor efficiency, I can write another way. So motor, real motor efficiency is equal to the fundamental power efficiency, which is the uh, manufacturing measure, right? Times HDF. HDF is generated by, by VFD, right? So if you measure this thing, right, you can directly identify impact for the power factor, which is a three number, three number, right? Three, three, three uh, HDF, right? But for the for the multi efficiency only T, uh, it, it's a uh, HDF for the power. So you measure this thing, you you you, you done it, right? It's done. It. So this is a you know fundamental, right? We, we can design this test. So let's talk about test system. Test system. So this test system in the fan motor VFD system. So sharp power we, we, we calculate based on the fan height and the, and the, uh, fan airflow, and the input power we have we have the power analyzer, so which can measure the voltage current for each term, include fundamental term and all harmonic term. Also can measure, uh, measure you know, the uh, THD and, uh, and the, you know, the 
a harmonic distortion factor, factor, right? So that means, so that's why it's really easy, right? So a test process. So we set the you know, three voltage control and change the frequency from six hertz to 20 hertz and measure, you know, the distortion power factor directly and calculate the you know, motor efficiency based on the a high the flow rate measurement and the power measurement, right? Let's show the result. So for the voltage part, so what voltage part, you can see the uh, left-hand side. So X is a fundamental voltage and the Y is a total voltage, total voltage. You can see the A fundamental voltage is 100. The total voltage is 140. So ideally, right, if the pure sine sodium power should be 100, so you, you can see voltage increase from 100 to 140. So means uh, the voltage includes a lot of harmonics, right? Curve, right? Curve. So you can see that I tried this line is ideal, right? If sine sodium power was to be followed right line, but actually the you know the real the voltage is really away from the ideal, right? Ideal. So left hand side is really really is is called a, a harmonic distortion factor for voltage, right? Voltage. You can see this this uh, impact is from the four percent to 40%, 40%. So means voltage impact really significant from the 4% to 40%, 40%. 40%. So let's move to, you know, to the to current. Current is a, is a, is a, is a, you know, the uh, green one. Green one. Current is really close to sine sodium power, right? So you can draw here, you draw this line, you can see, right? So current really close. So current really, you know, the we have the output current really close to to sign sodium power, right? But we do the detailed calculation. So you can see the, the current impact less than 1%. You can see the 1%, right? 1%. <laughs> oh, different color. We have the red, green, and the black, right? This is for, the, for the three voltage. So next one is for the, for the power, for the power. The power is all similar, right? Similar to current, really close to sign sodium, right? Sign sodium. So you can see the left-hand side, so the distortion, uh, uh, harmonic distortion factor, right, for the power. So it's really from 0.4% to 4%, right? So overall, you can see the left-hand side, right? But, uh, but different voltage control have different number. So for the linear ratio, right, has lower, has higher impact, has higher impact. So also, you know, like, again, I mentioned, right, the, the uh, harmonic distortion factor, for the power also show the po actual power loss. So this will be impact the basis. The actual power loss about also 4% to 4%. Okay, so the overall power factor, I said uh, for the PW power, power factor include two parts. One is a distortion part, one is a fundamental part. You can see the, the chart, right? Left hand side is the distortion part generated by, by VFD. And right hand side is the fundamental part. It's really the real part, right? So difference, uh, uh, different voltage control difference, difference. So here I put together. So overall power factor. So compare with the manufacturer power, uh, power factor. Uh, so the blue one, blue one is the manufacturer power factor. So it's a test, test power by by the rated power grid, right? The rated what frequency, rated, rated uh, voltage, right? You can see different, right? You can see different, different. So the power factor different with a with a manufacturer power factor or different is different. The power control, right? Linear ratio, square ratio, and the flux of matter different. The last one is the motor efficiency. Motor efficiency. So uh, right, uh, left hand side is the power efficiency versus uh, versus frequency, and uh, left hand efficiency versus uh, right hand versus uh, uh, a power output. Power output. So right hand side you also can you can see right we include three efficiency, so with different the voltage control compare with you know the the blue one blue one is the manufacturer data right, so you can see that different different. So from this uh, efficiency measurement, you can see right linear ratio is not good for the for the centrifugal effect, right? Centrifugal the uh, square ratio and the uh, and the flux out measure has better performance. So about four to fifty percent improvement. And also manufacturer data cannot be used for the for the motor powered by by, by the by the VIP, right? 
Uh, last one is uh, you know the again VFD also change voltage. So because of doing voltage adjustment, so VFD where the the motor right powered by VFD actually improve the efficiency, improve the efficiency. Right? So now I can give the conclusion. Conclusion. So VFD first thing change frequency. So we have change frequency. I can change the motor speed. Can significantly change the required shaft power. So it's a to the power of three, right? So significantly can reduce shaft power demand. So PWA power actually worse, worse the, the motor performance. So for, for voltage, so the impact is a four to forty percent, and the current less than one percent, and the power is a between the zero point four to four percent. So means this this piece of for the for the power part, right? It's, it means uh, the, can generate additional four zero point four percent to four percent additional motor motor efficiency loss. But the torsion factor it's generate it's a, it's a introduced right all the from the ninety five to sixty percent, and the VFD also change uh, uh voltage, but change voltage can improve improve motor efficiency. So flux optimizer square ratio has better performance. Again, motor uh, manufacturing pub, public motor efficiency data cannot be used for, for motor power with VFD. So again, this is a you know, conclusion. This is not the, 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 I didn't finish. I just ran out, I just point out. This is a findings, right? But more detail, I think maybe, maybe Maybe we may have some the you know continue future work to do the you know how do we model right model the motor efficiency and the power factor power by 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 VFD. So this is this work is not done yet. Okay, I think that's all for the presentation. So I can take questions.